Oh, I'm so glad you came. So is, is she coming? Oh, she's just parking the fusion hybrid. I can't believe you're dating Naomi Klein. I mean, I thought she was married to Abby Lewis. He left her for George Strombolopoulos after an interview on The Hour. The media's calling them Luopoulos. Catchy. Not really. Hello. Hi. <laughs> you must be Kate. A sincere pleasure to meet yes, you. Yes, you too. Uh, come on in. I can get you a drink if you'd like. No, thank you. I don't drink. Okay, uh, maybe something without alcohol, like a, a Coke or a... Perhaps something that wasn't blended with the tears of enslaved children. Uh, Pepsi? No, thank you. Knowledge is power. Uh... <laughs> Okay, um, well, there's a, a game of Pictionary going on in the other room, if you'd like to join. Gripping, but I'm afraid I didn't bring my crayons. <clears throat> um, right. So what's... Uh, someone's call, uh, calling me, I think. What? Excuse me, I'm just gonna go right over here. Uh, Naomi, come on over here. There's someone I want to meet. Uh, this is Dave, Kate's roommate. Uh, Dave works for an NGO that provides malaria nets to families in Rwanda. Ah, uh, a man with a conscience. Hello. Hello, Naomi. It's an honor to meet you. Can I offer you something to eat? Uh, we're on a Mexican kick lately, so... Everything is homemade, except the tortillas. Because who's got time to make tortillas, right? So they're store-bought? Yeah. Thank you, but no. Uh, though, by all means, enjoy your torture tortillas. Excuse me? I'm getting a little parched. Could I get a glass of water, please? Yeah, sure. Be right back. You promised you would lighten up on my friends, Naomi, and you're, you're really being difficult here. I'm just trying to spread awareness. There's nothing wrong with letting people know where their food comes from. And here we are, a glass for the lady. Oh, how quaint. A free willy cub and, yep, it's from McDonald's. Yeah, well, it was either that or my childhood sippy cup. Thank you, but I think I'll just drink straight from my dead when found caribou pelt flask. Oh, God, uh, that's lovely. Mmm, what a unique aroma. Thank you for bringing that into my home. It's pure durian juice mixed with some E3 lye. Would you like some? It tastes like the exact opposite of guilt. No, uh, no thanks. I'm gonna go check on the rest of the party. What's happening with that? You are shitting on these people for mistakes only you know they have made. Maybe if they had read my book, The Shock Doctrine, they'd understand the human costs of their choices. These people work. They don't have time to read your manifestos. Knowledge is power. Great. Could we just get through one hour of Pictionary without you criticizing anyone? Fine, but I think Trivia Pursuit would be a more apt choice for this crowd. You know, maybe if you laid off the raw food once in a while, you might be able to... Oh my god, what are you doing with that knife? I'm getting a little hungry. What the fuck are you doing? Removing excess skin and flesh to ingest for nourishment? It's the only way to maintain a zero-impact lifestyle. Well, stop it! There are probably apples in the fridge or something. Yeah, but are they organic, already fallen apples? I don't think so. Besides, my body provides all the nourishment I need. Really? Are, are you any good? If it wasn't so detrimental to the environment, I'd package myself and give me away for free. I know I really shouldn't, but, uh, it's not bad. It tastes like chicken. I wouldn't know, but my conscience is clean, and the freedom is intoxicating. Well, that could be the blood loss. Knowledge is power. That's great. Listen, why don't we blow this party, go home and listen to those Mongolian throw singing eight tracks you like so much. Plus, my feet have been marinating all day. Ken, I'm feeling human emotions for you positive ones. Knowledge is power.